Ah, Paladin. Good. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding Dance has been settled, we can return to our primary mission. I'm ready, Captain. Good, because this mission demands your full attention. Now, before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat. The Railroad. They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Then let's get to it. Your enthusiasm is appreciated, Paladin. Destroying the railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end, here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. Consider it done. Thank you, Paladin. Now, before you depart, Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. They're calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. But cute, huh? They use the robot for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate here. If you could use this holotape to decrypt the security on PAM's terminal, it will force the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put Pam's computing power to good use. Otherwise, destroy it. We wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. I'll try to get it back here in one piece. Good. It'd be a hell of a waste if you didn't. I'm certain you'll do whatever it takes to complete the mission. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Ad Victorium, Paladin. I have another assignment for you, Paladin. Virgil. Paladin? Excuse me, Captain Kells? Virgil remains a threat. It's time we dealt with him. He's been eliminated, Captain. Already ahead of me. I'm impressed, Paladin. Well done. For your service, Allow me to offer you a new helm for your power armor. Wear it with pride. You've earned my respect, Paladin. Not many can say that. Carry on, brother. Ad Victorium.
Look like you've been through the ringer, Paladin. Can't say that I blame you. I was a hell of a business with dance. Can't even imagine having to look him in the face and pull the trigger. If we're gonna defeat the Institute, we can't allow personal feelings to interfere with our mission. Spoken like a true disciple of Maxon. Anyway, we need to move on to more important things now. Like getting Liberty Prime off of life support. We've been feeding him power through the Pridwin's engines, but there isn't nearly enough juice to cold start his fusion reactor. That's why we need you to find us a beryllium agitator. Fine. Just point me in the right direction. I was hoping you'd say that. Quinlan dug up some dirt on a company called Mass Fusion. They were a power utility company before the world went belly up. The CEO was some kind of an inventor. Dreamed up all sorts of nuclear power toys. The Agitator was his crown jewel. Records show he was working on it in his lab at the top of their high-rise in the Financial District. That's where we're headed. Hope you don't mind a little company, because I'm coming with you. It's your funeral. Well, with a big bad soldier like you watching my back, that's not gonna happen now, is it? Kells has a vertebrate on standby, waiting to drop us off on the roof of the Mass Fusion Tower. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. If the Institute finds out the Agitator's there, they'll do everything they can to keep it out of our hands. The human-looking synths are the worst. They hide in plain sight. Roger that, Gabbard. We have clearance for release. You might want to hang on, sir. The drop can be a little rough. Never could get used to flying in these things.
target sighted on the roof, sir. Prepare to engage. Damn fences are crawling all over the place. Send them out before we drop. <laughs> Calm down, Noel. You knew that this was coming. I don't understand why you're acting this way. Don't tell me to calm down, Carl. When we started designing the beryllium agitator, you said it would be for the benefit of mankind. Instead, I find out that you have been planning on turning it over to the military all along. You lied to me. Don't give me that high and mighty attitude. Have you picked up a newspaper lately? There's a war going on out there, Doctor. And if our side's going to win, it needs all the help it can get. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Since when did science start taking sides? What did they promise you, Carl? Money? Political favors? A goddamn medal? That's enough! Like it or not, when the testing cycle is completed, I'm crating up the agitator and sending it off to Washington. Now, you have two choices. Either you can get back to work, or you can get the hell out of my building. Hostile 
sensor reading detected. Explosive charge. Damn it! They've knocked out the power to the elevators! airlock please wait initiating decontamination sequence decontamination complete you may proceed The agitator should be in a port at the top of the reactor. Initiated. 
Please wait. Contamination complete. Okay, hun. Just say it right into the little box here. This is a recording of the Ladies' Watch Oxal... Oxalary... Uh, of Boston. Say your name, precious. Jenny! Oh, right. This is Jenny speaking. Okay, sweetheart. And what are we doing tonight? Buying on Uncle Jake. <laughs> no, honey, the other thing. Oh, right. We're catching bad guys. Aunt Becca, is Uncle Jake a bad guy? Only when he's had too much juice, Princess. Now grab your coat. We're heading out. I'd gladly lay down my life, if it keeps humanity from repeating the apocalypse. We really should just stay out of each other's way. Proctor. Glad to see you're still in one piece. You mean you're glad to see the beryllium agitator in one piece? Let's just say I'm glad both of you are in one piece and call it even, okay? Anyway, we shouldn't stand around here talking. We've got a lot of work to do. Well, this is it. The moment of truth. We've pre-programmed Liberty Prime's battle coordinates into his navigational processor. As soon as he's under his own power, he'll head straight for the Institute. Elder Maxon wants you to follow. And make sure he arrives at the CIT in one piece. I've checked every wire and every bolt on the big guy. All we need to do is plug in the agitator, start Prime's reactor, and cross our fingers. Did you fill up his tank and check the tire pressure too? You're a real comedian. Anyone ever tell you that? Look, I discussed it with Elder Maxon, and we think you should be the one who has the honor of starting Liberty Prime. Just plug the beryllium agitator into his reactor port, then head back down here and press the transfer button. Good luck, Paladin. Ad Victorium.
Fusion Core reinitialized. Liberty Prime, full system analysis. All systems nominal. Weapons, fight. Mission, the destruction of any and all Chinese communists. Probability of Chinese victory, impossible. Brotherhood, salute! And Victoria! Proceeding to target coordinates. Freedom is the sovereign right of every American. Democracy is non-negotiable. Brotherhood, fall out! is freedom. Communism is tyranny. Definition of failure. System diagnostic commencing. Mobility complete. Optic beam fully charged. Nuclear.
Patriotism subroutines. Engaged. Honoring the fallen is the duty of every red-blooded American. Proceeding as planned. 
database accessed. Quoting New England poet Robert Frost, freedom lies in being bold. Leave no mutant alive! Obstruction eliminated. Ground units initiate. Directive 7395. Destroy all communists. I hold these truths to be self evident. That all Americans are created equal and are endowed with certain unalienable rights.
I must end your existence.
I didn't expect to see you again. Come to see the reactor, have you? We got it working without you. There's no going back, Sean. The Institute has to be stopped. And you've decided this for yourself? Or has it been fed to you by the corrupt societies above ground? It's not enough that I lay here dying. Now you plan on what? Destroying everything? Tell me then. Under what righteous pretense have you justified this atrocity? I just want to watch this place burn. It's hard to believe I'm related to you. Well, none of it matters now, I suppose. You'll accomplish your task and ruin humanity's best hope for the future. The only question left then is why you're standing here. Is it regret? Or did you just come to gloat? I wanted to see you one last time before your whole empire comes crashing down around you. Get out of here. Reveal yourself. Commencing termination of organic transform. 
Something's out there. <laughs> In and out, Paladin. We make this fast and precise. Good work, Paladin. I think it's time to leave this place to its fate. Proctor Ingram, do you copy? Our mission is complete. I need you to transport us out of here immediately. Why did you call me dad? What? You're my father. Why else would I call you that? Who told you that I was your father? What do you mean? Nobody told me. You just are. Oh, this is just what I need right now. I'm not a baby, and I'm old enough to take care of myself. The only help I need is to get out of here. Now can we please go? You're not going anywhere with me. You're not my son. But you can't just leave me here. I don't want to die. Please, just think about it for a second. All right, you can come with me. But you'd better not make me regret this. I'm glad you are here to save me. All right, Ingram. Fire it up. Everything looks green. Systems warmed up and ready to go if you are. Absolutely. Let's get out of here. You got it, Paladin. I'm going to send you and Elder Maxon directly to the detonation site. I'll make sure the kid gets some new clothes and reaches the airport safely. When that reactor goes up, this place will be nothing but a smoking crater full of rubble. Should be quite a sight. Looks like your work here is done, Paladin. I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Thank you for your cooperation. wash over me. The heat, the force, the radiation, the fear. It's the end of the world all over again. 
close my eyes, I see my life before all of this. Before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes. Elder Maxon. You've done an exemplary job here, Paladin. Without your unwavering loyalty to our cause, this victory would never have been possible. What? No cash prize? Your reward rests in the hearts and the minds of the people you've saved. The Institute has been wiped clean from the face of our world. It's time we close this chapter on the Commonwealth and begin one anew. Then let's get to it. I'm pleased that you're anxious to continue your service for the Brotherhood. But this is neither the time nor the place to discuss it. Return to the Pridwin, and we'll decide what needs to be done. there were cars that worked. It would be really fun to drive one. Hey, Sean. Dad, I was so worried. I thought I'd never see you again. Is it true? Did you really blow up the Institute? Why would you do that? They were dangerous, Sean. To everyone in the Commonwealth. Yeah, that's what the Proctor lady told me. As long as you don't leave me, it'll be okay. You're... you're not gonna leave me, right? Don't worry, kiddo. I'm here for you. Okay. Oh, before I forget, Father, uh, he told me to give this to you. I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what it says. But I think it's important. Sean, do you want to get out of here? Go live somewhere else with me? Okay. Paladin, I'm pleased you've returned. Captain Kells and I wanted to speak with you. Captain Kells. As I expect Elder Maxon has already explained, the destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and ferals to be dealt with, as well as any remaining synths that escaped the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats. Well, I'm not gonna quit now. Indeed. I expected no less from you, Paladin. In light of your service, Captain Kells and I both feel you deserve unique recognition for your contributions. Both past... and future. It's with great pleasure and the utmost respect that you are hereby granted the title of Sentinel. This is the highest honor a Brotherhood soldier can achieve. But we both felt strongly that it was well deserved. In addition, we'd like to present you with this jetpack modification for your power armor. The Brotherhood has few of these devices in its possession, but we feel you've earned the right to utilize one of them. Congratulations, Sentinel. 
It's an honor to be serving with you. Thank you, both. I'm really quite honored. The honor is ours. So, Sentinel, for the first time since we've met, I have no orders for you. From this moment forward, you will decide which missions you undertake and how you will guide us. Captain Kells and the personnel at the Cambridge Police Station still possess numerous operations for you to undertake. Where you go from here is up to you. Ad Victorium, Sentinel. Proximity sensor's green. Getting a three-second pingback. We're getting a 3% Z-tilt. Adjusting thrust recommended. If you are hearing this, then whatever conflicts you and I have endured are over. I have no reason to believe that you'll honor the request I'm about to make. But I feel compelled to try anyway. This synth, this boy, he deserves more. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. It is my hope that you will take him with you. I would only ask that you give him a chance. A chance to be part of whatever future awaits the Commonwealth. <laughs> 